Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Online IRL. And today, we're gonna be trying Fashion Nova denim. It's fall, the temperatures are about to drop, so you've got to get your denim closet tight. Last time we did this, I had Denise Badeau come on and try on some denim, but today, it's all me. So get excited. So today I'm choosing a couple of pairs of jeans that we've seen celebrities try on because I like to do a little bit of a comparison. This pair has been worn by the Amber Rose, who admittedly has a bit of a curvier body than I do. But as you know, Fashion Nova jeans are supposed to work on curvy bodies. At this point, you guys know how much I hate when jeans don't have pockets. And surprise, surprise, these do not have a front pair of pockets. They're fake. Can someone please explain why these don't have pockets? What I will say about these jeans is that they are more jegging than jeans, which if you like to stretch, you like to kick a little bit, if you're gonna do some squats, these are perfect. I also love where they hit on my belly button. They're just high enough that I feel like I still have a bit of a torso, but they are high enough so I feel sucked in. I could eat a meal, but still feel like I could breathe afterwards, which all in all is a win, right? Who wore it better, me or Amber Rose? Just kidding, don't answer that. Don't come for me, don't drag me. I love Amber Rose, she's amazing. On the website, these are called Making Moves Jeans, which I assume is an ode to Cardi B, so hopefully when I wear them, I turn into a boss bitch and I make all the money because I have these on my body. Yay, front pockets for all my money moves, can't wait. What I also find really interesting about these jeans is that they are sized seven, a three, five, seven, nine, that's junior sizing. I am not a junior, I'm a grown ass woman. Just looking at them, it seems like I should have sized down, so gotten a five instead of a seven, but we'll see. So I was right, I should have sized down in these. Look at this band, I can literally fold it over. But you know what, I think that that has to do with the amount of stretch that's in them. Now, do I feel any closer to making moves? Sure. I feel like Cardi B is in my body and I'm ready to make money moves with her. But first, I have to size down. I'm not the biggest fan of distressed denim, but when I saw these on the website, Nicki Minaj was wearing them, so I said, what the hell, let me give them a shot. As it turns out, they are super duper distressed. Like, that's my whole arm going through one hole. What's up, y'all? Hey. I don't know, we'll see what they look like. I feel like my whole thigh is going to peek through, and that may be the look. We'll have to give it a shot. Guys, you cannot tell me that this is flattering. It's not. I don't care what you say. Y'all are so nice and lovely to me, and I love you for it, but like, be honest with me. What do we think about this? Why is this, just this, this part right here, why is that a trend? Explain it to me in the comments. Now, for the good thing about these jeans, once again, they hit exactly where I love a pair of jeans to hit, right at the belly button, which means that you feel sucked in, cinched at the waist, and like you can conquer the world in your stretchy jeans. Fashion Nova called these the marathon booty lifting jeans, which I don't actually really know what that means. I imagine it means it's gonna lift my butt for a very long time, make it look like I just ran a marathon or last for 26 miles. It could mean anything really. All I wanna know is if my butt is gonna look high and tight and like a little peach booty. Does my booty look lifted? Just kidding guys. I don't know, I mean you tell me. Do you think they look a little higher? Do I have a peach booty? Does the name live up to the hype? Weigh in in the comments. There's really not much else to say about these. I think they're super stretchy, which is great, but we know that that is what Fashion Nova does. It's more just about the butt and giving you that sort of peach shape, and it seems like it's accomplished it, but I mean, TBH, I already have a bit of a butt, and it's a little high already. I'm doing my squats, thank you very much. So I don't know if I am going from A to B, B to C. I don't know, you guys weigh in. 
So I've played myself the last few times I've tried to get some Bermuda shorts. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, but this time I read the makeup and these are 75% cotton and 2% spandex, which means they should stretch and fit over my thighs. Over the course of the series, I think I've tried biker shorts four times maybe, and it doesn't exactly pan out each time, so I'm excited to see if these will work. Surprise, surprise, I don't hate the way that these fit. The thing that I don't love though is that they are distressed, so it would seem that next time I go shopping on Fashion Nova, I should look for a pair just like these, but without the distressing. I love where they hit right above my knee, and I like that this denim feels a little thick, and once again, hits right at the belly button. So all in all, they fit really well. It's just that the distressing is not for me personally. For all you babes on a budget out there, I've also chosen a pair of jeans for under $20. Listen, I understand that everyone's pockets are not made the same. You guys know that I'm not big into distressed denim. So searching for a clean pair of jeans took forever, forever. I don't get it. Fashion Nova has thousands and thousands of jeans that are ripped and torn, but why not just a nice pair like this? But that's why I'm here. I did the search for you guys. Now you may be wondering, why doesn't Nikki have her pants buttoned? Guys, it's because they don't fit. And what I will say is that I bought a size seven, which on the site says they're 28, but after inspecting the label, it only has 1% stretch, which may be the issue. Also, sometimes you just get what you pay for. Honestly, these are, you know, under $20, which means the quality may not be that high. So I think oftentimes you guys should order a couple sizes to see how they fit or just invest a little more in a great pair of jeans that will last you a long time. I decided to choose a pair of flare jeans because they'll never actually go out of style. You may want to like toss them in the back of your closet for a little bit, but I promise you, you will always find yourself reaching for another pair. This pair is more of a bell bottom than an actual flare, which I wasn't expecting. But you know, with a heel or a platform, they may look great. These remind me of the kind of jeans that I used to DIY in middle school. So it's like you took one panel and then inserted it into another pair of jeans and made like a Frankenstein flare. If you're into the sort of two-tone, then maybe these are the flares for you. The flare also feels a little too wide to be modern. If I were designing these, I would have made the flare slightly smaller so it looks more late 2000s than early 2000s. All in all, not the jeans for me. Well, that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you thought of all of these Fashion Nova jeans in the comments, and I'll see you next week.